Alright, so here we go. Time for the rising tide. Time to get Leviathan. I wonder if his ability is going to be cool. The only problem is since I have beaten the game. I wonder, I'm wonder. I'm sure we'll get his powers, right? And we're just going to fight him. I'm sure we'll get the powers, though. The hell's dear Sid? Oh, this guy. How are you this now from the Imperial Lands? Yes, I know we said we'd be going straight home, but a little detour to trade the trinkets we'd picked up on our travels from some rusty, current trusty gale seemed in order. Giving the others something to soften the shock of losing the dust crystals like. <laughs> Truth is, those crystals have long been a life have long been a lifeline for our people. And though I may have been quick to comprehend your reasoning, they're not but a tether to a sinking ship. Humble country folk like mine are rather less receptive to new ideas. Wish me luck in turning them to the righteous path. Famille. P.S. In the unlikely event that we should find ourselves driven from our home at Point of Pitchfork, I trust he'll spare us a bed or three. The lads can sleep on the floor at a pinch. But, you know, he'll take the bed. Um, yeah. All right. A little side note from uh, Echoes of the Fallen here. Other than unmarked. <clears throat> Sid. I shall not waste time mincing words. Leviathan's dominant is in need of a rescue. Despite it, my innumerable misgivings about joining hands with an outlaw of the highest dis dispute... The dame has assured me that there is none better suited to the task at hand. I dare not reveal more for fear this missive could fall into wrong hands, but if what little I have penned here has kindled your interest, I bid you journey to the Vale in Northreach and inquire with one Layla. She will surely see you satisfied. Ooh, satisfaction. Um, let's do it. The thing is, like, we can... They mentioned in the, the game... Um, Leviathan is in like picture in the murals and stuff, but um, Joshua refers to him too as Leviathan the Lost because they have no idea like where the hell he is or what's going on. So it's funny that there are people that know who he is, but he, I'm assuming maybe it's somebody that has the powers, but they've just been like in hiding or something. I guess we're going to find out. Leviathan the Lost. See like, what I'm talking about? They even oh, mentioned it. <clears throat> After all this time. Why, what now? No. I'm not sure you'd believe me if I told you. After all we've been through. I believe everything. I doubt there's anything that could surprise me at this point. <laughs> all right then. Rouse Joshua and meet me in the mess. We'll talk there. We talk over like over some grub. I see we're all here. So, what is it this time? I'm not sure yet. The letter delivered to my chambers omitted a few crucial details. Do we know its provenance? That was one of the details it omitted. But whoever the sender was, it seems the dame held them in high enough regard to point them in our direction. The dame? Well, she's not one to waste our time. It must be important. Important might be an understatement. If the letter is to be believed, Leviathan's dominant is in danger. And someone wants us to save him. Leviathan? So the Warden of Water has finally returned. What has it been? A hundred years? More. The lost moniker dates back at least that long. Even our venerable lawsman would not have been so much as a glint in his father's eye when last the mighty serpent brought his crushing waves to bear upon the realm. But why the gap? I know it can be a few years before a new dominant's born, but over a century? Should the dominant of water's bloodline have been severed somehow, it could have prevented a new dominant from awakening. But if one has awakened now, he couldn't have chosen a worse time. Every nation in the realm has lost its dominant. If word gets out that there is still one to be had, they will stop at nothing to claim it for their own. And the twins will be at war again, just when humanity most needs to come together. Did the letter say anything else? Only that if I wish to know more, we must meet in person. And that the Vale can arrange a meeting. Hmm. If nothing else, you can be certain it ain't a trap. <laughs> Famous last words. I'm coming with you. As am I. 
Thank you. Both of you. And Otto. Yeah, yeah. I'll keep an eye on things here. Now, fancy coming anyway. when I talked about it was the fall, not adding much to the lore, I expect this one to, to add so stuff to the lore, at least on the, the Leviathan front. And I get another icon, like, lore on that. That's that's perfect. I don't want to add to the overall, like, story stuff, but... Um, I expect better things story-wise from this expansion, or not an expansion, but DLC than I did... Um, Exit of the Fallen, first, um, at least from story perspective. Quest destination, the rising tide are indicated. Okay, so a little gold symbol. Oops. I'm assuming this one's going to have a little. Um, what's it called? Point of no return, just like. Echoes of the Fallen did. To the veil it is then. I'm here to be satisfied. Where are thou? Looks like you've got hers. But enough talk. Fancy a peek behind the veil, my lord? Sure. I'm looking for a Layla. <laughs> You've found one. So, will your friends be joining in? <laughs> or just <coughs> watching? They like to watch. Jill will join. Uh, Joshua can watch. Services. We simply want to talk. What you do with your time is up to you. The price is still the same. <laughs> hear about the letter oh oh uh, sorry I suppose you'll be wanting to know who wrote it then among other things she's got a good game I gotta hear that look I'm just the messenger here there's only so much I can tell you specifically a location north of town on the shore of Isle of Feist Bay. There you'll find a tent and the woman who can answer your questions. And that's all? Nothing else? Actually, one thing. There's more than flowers in the meadows these days. So keep that sword of yours to hand. We got it. <clears throat> Does anyone else think it's strange that this woman should prefer to keep to the outskirts of town? Not if she realizes the value of the information she's party to. And the danger it puts her in. A lot of danger. Maybe it was that clue to have your sword ready means after this cutscene that we're gonna like get thrown into a battle like automatically. It's really not walking that far. Well, the tent is where Layla said it would be. Yes, but who awaits us inside? Hmm. It's empty. Why am I not surprised? We have a boat. A skiff. Boat. No prizes for guessing who that belongs to. Continue the search. How, how far is this radius? Not that big. Oh. <clears throat> Must be over here then somewhere. Oh wait, the fire, duh. The 
Feathers are still warm. For your Sid. It's quite the uh, opening shot to meet her. I suppose I must be. Which means you have me at a disadvantage. Apologies. I am Shula, tributary of Mesidia, final haven of the Moors. Mesidia, how about that? Little throwback. The Moats of Water. The very tribe into which it was believed Leviathan's Dominant was born. A people notable for their sapphire eyes and ivory hair. Yes, that would be impossible, since the tribe famously... <coughs> Vanished. Was exterminated. <laughs> Despite the best efforts of both church and state, we are still very much alive. Though we've managed to keep that fact hidden from good Griegers faithful for over a century. Along with Leviathan's dominant. That wave out there, what do you know of it? The surge. Only that it's been there a long time. Since the fall of Drake's eye almost a century ago. Some claim the two are connected, but none can speak with any certainty. So in other words, you know nothing. Funny thing is, I could have sworn we went there in the main story, Not but I guess we never did. Gesture. I don't know why I never questioned it. The wave was raised by Leviathan in an act of rage. Moments before the waters were stayed, and the icon and its dominant bound within. And you want us to rescue him? Yes. <coughs> See, a little bird told me about a certain outlaw with a singular knack for putting unruly dominance in their place. And ours is about as unruly as they get. For years, we've searched for someone who could hold their own against an icon. Someone just like you. So what do you say? Will you help us? What exactly did your dominant do to warrant this punishment? What did he do? He committed the greatest crime one of his kind can. He was born. But he deserves a better fate than the one my people forced upon him. He deserves to be free. As do we all. Very well. Far-fetched though your tale may seem, something tells me you speak in earnest. So we will do what we can for your dominant. But first, you will tell us everything you know about him and the means of his imprisonment. I can do better than that. I can show you. Care to take a trip across the bay? My people await you there. Lead the way. Oh, an actually brand new location, huh? The Lost Cloak. So it's interesting. I guess that's why they call him the Lost, because he was born. Like they still exist, but they hid him inside right. there. You might want to hold on to something. Or I guess I hit him, but I trapped him. Coming up on the wall and passing through can take a bit of getting used to. I don't see any wall. Of course you don't. 
That's the point. It's a glamour woven by our ancestors to keep our village hidden from prying eyes. But don't take my word for it. Watch. You do know what a glamour is, don't you? Ours just happens to work both ways, and a good thing too. I wouldn't fancy staring at those sickly clouds every day. True. Alright, there you go. The rising tide. It's a nice shot right there too. And that concludes our little voyage. We're here. It's a long slog to the village, and a hard one. I uh, hope you're up for a climb. You didn't think we'd arrive, did you? The village isn't up here. It's on the other side of the mountain. Oh, of course it is. Hey, I'm coming. Cloak top. So I'm assuming... Alright, so we have like a whole new area to explore. Just typical, like, the other areas, which... I was almost like a, just one dungeon, that was it. Seem to have like this is a new area to like go through and travel through. Okay. It's so beautiful. I like the waterfall of uh, waterfalls. Waterfalls. Not for the sheer drop than for the beasts who prowl it. Thank you for the warning. Can I follow my death? <laughs> Please. <laughs> yeah, try. Sids. I like the lighting on the you will be pleased to learn, <clears throat> Lady Shula, the water. That I have no such aliases. Is that so, Lord Margrace? It's all the same to me. Is he trying to hit on it right there with that? <clears throat> well, you know what? I'm not gonna have ambrosia here. It's fine. We got flash speed. We got new enemies. Same enemies in the other continent, but Ooh, these ones are 50. I like this girl's attitude. Crystals. But then, where is your brand? Waiting for me in Sunbreck, if I ever get careless. <laughs> sure, they don't treat them brands for a long like this. Or branded, that's what they call them. No slaves here. Respect.
going to that move by accident. We're almost at the summit. From there, you'll have a better view of our home. Shit. Never finished writing something. Be another epic view right here. To show you, just so you know. This is not what I expected. Welcome, my friends, to Mercidia. have plenty of questions but it's been a long journey and i expect we could all do with a rest that is true no is only a short way nothing here you. has been affected by the Be blight me. nothing's corrupted let's get ourselves in front of a fire and i'll tell you everything you need to know There's definitely fallen ruins here, though. You can see those throughout. It's beautiful, Shula. And we aim to keep it that way. Are you friendly? Should I kill you? Nah, you're friendly. Are those stones glowing? That's one of the cairns which maintain the glamour. Stay well clear. Don't want to break it down. No more wolves. I'm assuming whatever <clears throat> that blue light is that's shooting down, that's what they're using to keep them trapped. Yeah, I can't believe I never questioned that's not going to that, because you can always see it in the distance. I mean, can you even see it on the road map? I guess you really couldn't. Yeah, I never questioned that's going there. I remember seeing it, but yeah. Whoops. Can you grab somebody? Can't hit anybody. It's nice she's fighting along with us. Reflection of fire, Phoenix shift. I don't use any. Actually, do I use a Phoenix ability? I do not. I don't remember what ignition was, and that's it for it. Could 
we not have spared ourselves the mountain crossing by landing further north? In clear view of the bay. You're crazy. They'll spot us. This is a nice area. It's like going from fucking, um, like Witcher 3. Going from that area to Blood and Wine expansion. It's the complete difference in area and color. Tides. Does morning's light return? Open the gates! The tributary is home! Haven. Outsiders? Well, I never. Look at the size of that dog. <coughs> That's no All dog. Right, it's Fenrir. Back to your duties. <clears throat> You'll have to forgive my people their curiosity. We don't get many visitors. Or any, truth be told. I was going to say, you shouldn't have many if you've been hiding for a hundred years. <clears throat> this is quite extraordinary. It's like stepping into another world. So do you believe me now? You've made it difficult not to, my lady. But how did your people chance to settle here, in the north? Unless I am much mistaken, the moats of water long called the coasts of Southern Ash their home. Until Drake's horn fell, and the blight forced them ever inland, where... We met our doom, along with our dominant. I see you've read the Gregorian Church's account, but perhaps you'd like to hear ours. That building over there is the Witten Hall. It's where my people gather to discuss matters of import. We can speak more inside once the place is ready to receive you. The Witten Hall. It shouldn't take long, but you're welcome to explore the village while I see to things. Thank you. <coughs> we'll do just that. <clears throat> well, let's explore. A new town. I wonder if they're going to have quests. Because it is a town, after all. I'm assuming the quests are all going to be like fetch quests, though, if anything. Min Wu, wow. It's a throwback, too. What was that right here? Min Wu's cup. I'm sorry, but I don't like it. Outsiders should stay on the outside. Alright, asshole. I'm a nice outsider. Can't go in there. I'm assuming we can't go anywhere, even though it's like explore the town. I'm gonna walk in your water. I'm gonna contaminate it with my outsiderness. I can't walk in there. Shame. I'm assuming there's this stores. I'm assuming they're not gonna let us buy anything yet, huh? Yeah. We must flee. Intruders. The way he said that was funny. Looks like bent down, they covered his head. Welcome to Haven. The tributary awaits you within the Witten Hall. Leviathan, I see you. It's like a baby inside of it. So what do you think of our little haven in the woods? It might not have all the comforts of a southern settlement, but at least it's ours. And there's a lot to be said for that. It can't have been easy keeping this place a secret. Not easy, no. We've dedicated our lives to maintaining the glamour that conceals us. Us? And Walius. This man, Walius, 
to see Leviathan's dominant. That's right. Though he's no man, Walius is still a baby. Hmm. A baby. Forgive me, but you said that the Dominant and his icon were bound inside the Surge almost a century ago. That would surely make him older still. It would, if he'd been allowed to age. But the spell robbed the poor bairn of even that. I'm sorry. Walius was the son of my great-grandfather. Leviathan awoke within him almost immediately. But instead of allowing the lad to live out his life as a valued member of the community, my ancestors sought to put his power to other uses. Sadly for them, the Icon sensed their treachery and summoned a wave so large it would have swallowed the entire village if my ancestors hadn't stopped him. So it wasn't even the baby's fault. It was Leviathan was trying to fuck him because the child. they tried to use Time him. Itself. Yes. Forgive me. I'm still not sure I understand. I'm not surprised. It isn't the easiest thing to explain. Which is why it might be better if I took you to see him. Show you exactly what he has to endure. That is why we came. Then let us be off. There's a road that leads north from the village. It'll take us right into the surge. Are you bound for the wave, tributary? We are, Delina. Have you spread the word about our guests? I have. Everyone knows to treat them as family. You shouldn't have any trouble now, but just in case, I would have you accept this symbol of our people. Seal obtained. Got plenty of those. Or the main story. That's very kind. I look forward to meeting the family. The feeling's mutual. My dogs keep trying to Should the tributary be come up here and lick my hand. Feel free to ask me any questions you might have regarding the village, and I'll do my best to answer. Thank you. We will. Then I bid you good tide. Good tide. Um, Your house lies across the go? bridge. If you're short of supplies, you may find what you need there. So we will have to ask you for recompense, poor as we are. Of course. It's weird that they would use the money, though, considering... They probably make their all their own shit if they're going to stay hidden, right? Unless they travel to the mainland, just like cover up and shit, people can't tell who, like who they are. My name is Delina. Oh shit! Still not voice acted, <clears throat> which is like I said, very weird. Because the main story of this too, like, would start off saying it and then they would just cut off. I serve as adjutant to the Lady Shula, a tributary of Messidia. While other adjutant. Adjuants who came before me played the role of guardian as well as aid. Lady Shula is ab an able warrior in her own right and requires no protection. So I assist her in ministering to our people's affairs while she is absent or indisposed. It was I who informed the rest of the village of your coming at the tributary's request. If there is aught you wish to know of our people or our village. Please don't hesitate to ask. As I'm sure you are aware, this land was once the domain of the Northern Thanes. Though the settlement had lain abandoned for some time when our ancestors' wanderings finally brought them here. Remote as it was, it seemed to them t the ideal place to settle, and they duly cast the glamour over it, that their new home might remain hidden. The secret of the spell itself. It had been passed down from generation to generation since the time we left Ash. We used it to disguise our camps, that the custodians of the land through which we wandered should not learn of our trespass. And it was these temporary enchantments which led our ancestors to contemplate a more permanent solution upon arriving here. So they built the cairns. Filled with all the shards of crystal that the tribe could spare, and summoned for the glamour large enough to cover the entire land. And for the many days and nights thereafter, the bears labored to attune the spell, that the outside world might see this place slowly succumb to the blight. Wait, what? And for... Oh, 
Oh, so you're saying on... I get what they're saying. So they're using the glamour to make it look like the blight completely took over this area, so nobody would even want to fucking come over here. I, I get it now. <clears throat> Welcoming none into our private haven, until you, that is. First, the spell only worked one way. It was only after the skies changed that we conjured a second illusion for the benefit of those inside. Hold on. The dogs are fighting with each other. It was lady, well, not fighting, but they're playing, but they get aggressive with each other. Um, at first, the spell worked only one way. It was only after the skies changed that we conjured a second illusion for the benefit of those inside. It was Lady Sheila's idea. A salve for the nerves of those who fear the ruling storm clouds with a harbinger of the end. Okay. So they did it that. Okay. I pray that it brings you a little relief from the darkness of the world beyond the wall as it has done us. So they actually can see the sky all fucked up. They're just using glamour to um, hide it. Our story began. On the narrow coast of the southern ash, where for want of arable land, we relied on the mountain rains to quench our thirst and the bounty of the sea to fill our bellies, and thus did we learn the value of water. After the fall of Drake's horn. We spent decades in exile, drifting across the deserts and snowfields of the twins, till at least, till, 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 till alas, we arrived here in Mesidia, our second true home. Here we found mountains, rivers, and seas not unlike those of our first home in ash. All that we lacked was crystal. We have no mother crystal of our own. <coughs> nor have we ever received any stipend from our neighbors. We're not in for the few shards we had been able to stockpile during a wandering in storm. We might not have ever survived the first few winters, let alone cast the glamour that protects us. For the demand that bears... Wait, for its demand that the bears among us sacrificed our lives for the benefit of the others was never an option. The hardships we had faced on our journey had brought us together, and we would not be divided again. Thankfully, our unity proved our strength. So basically, they probably did have branded and they used them as slaves, but through the journeys, you know, the bears helped them and sacrificed with them, so they didn't want to... They basically say, you're our equals now, so... Which is good. So here we have stayed dependent only upon the blessings which this land provides us. The springs, the rivers, the seas. These are all we... All we motes of water need. So they don't even really even use magic except for the, um... The glamour, but they're using the crystals for that. What do they do when the crystals run out? That's the real question. I mean, how many do they have? I mean, they've been here for over 100 years. Like, it's they're going to run out of glamour eventually. But it also makes sense that if they're not using, relying on crystals and stuff in, like, the power of the magic, that I guess the blight wouldn't take over this area. We do have quests. At least one. Sid, aren't you? The man the tributary told us about? I wonder if you could help me. <laughs> With what exactly? Oh, nothing too troublesome. Do you know my husband, Pavart? Sure. He's the village smith, among among other things. Anyway, his name day is not far off, and I wanted to make a gift. I'm sorry calling my birthday that. My name he's day. A craftsman, you see, and he's been fretting about running low on the flowers he uses for dye making so i wondered if you might collect some for me and give them to him uh, would this gift not be better coming from you that's true perhaps but it can't for reasons i can't go into hmm. please i know it sounds daft but i'd be ever so grateful um sure Fine. Which flowers does your husband need? The sweet little blue ones that grow around the fount. Elder's blessings, they're called. We use them to dye our fabrics so we we'll always feel close to water like they are. You don't need to go to the trouble of picking them yourself, though. Just speak to the field hands and ask them to share their harvest with you. Two basketfuls should be enough for Why doesn't she just do that way? and tell them to deliver it to him? basketfuls it is. What does she need me for? But it's a plus symbol, which means we're gonna gain something out of this. Oh, there is another quest item. We're gonna gain something out of that one, too. Yeah, give me your basket. Excuse me. I wonder, might you be able to spare a basket of Elder's Blessings? Pavard's <laughs> wife tasked me with collecting some. For her husband, and suggested that I speak to you. Ah, Werder wants you to bless a better half with the fruits of our labor, does she? Go on then. 
Give the old fool something to squirm about. I'm sorry. What? Ah, don't worry about it. Maybe they're playing a An trick. Old may be, but if you come bearing gifts, he's not fool enough to turn you away. Hmm. I'm glad to hear it. Thank you. Welcome to Haven, friend. Thank you. Thank you. Called it. My presumptuousness. But the smith's wife has asked me to make her husband a present of some elder's blessings. Two basketfuls, to be precise. Well, I have one, if that's any help. It is. I'm much obliged. Well, that one was nice and short. They really are beautiful. Oh, well, that was done yet. Guess not. Though that's not the only reason they have a special place in our hearts. Legend has it that when our people fled from Ash, the tributary of the time took some seeds with them. And as they wandered high and low across the Crims, they'd plant them wherever they stopped for water. Every elder since has done the same. So when we finally put down roots here in Mesidia, the flowers did too. Well, that's two basketfuls. To complete the main objective of some quest, you, <coughs> you may be given the option to quick travel. Oh, we already know that shit. Sure, why not? You know these fucking ten steps in front of me. What do you want? Your wife asked me to bring you these flowers. Ugh, that woman. Come out. I know you're there. <laughs> nice hiding spot. Me? <laughs> this lady's weird. Would either of you care to explain what's going on? I'm sorry. I didn't mean to deceive you. It's just my husband can be a bit standoffish at times, and I thought this might be a good way for the two of you to get acquainted. <coughs> what with you being a swordsman like and him being the only smith in the village, it'd be a shame if he couldn't turn to him for help. The only reason he couldn't turn to me for help is because I have my hands full with all the orders you lot dumped on me. I'm pretty much done with them now. But, for the record, <laughs> the tributary said that we were to let you outsiders our aid, and that's exactly what I was planning to do. With or without my darling wife's meddling. Still, here we are. Acquainted. So, if there's out you need, just bring us the materials, all right? So I'm guessing we had to do this quest to um, unlock All right, then. the smith. And tar for the flowers. I was running low. You use them for dyeing, I hear. Aye. Crush the petals and it makes a fine and lasting blue. We use it to stain the cloth for our tunics and pennons. To remind us where we come from, like. Those moats of water. Children of the sea. That's right. The pattern too was left by our ancestors. The ceaseless rill, it's called, it symbolizes the river of our tribe, with the strength of Leviathan running through it. And no matter how that river has ebbed, flowed, changed its course, the flowers have always been with us, growing on our banks. <clears throat> I should get back to work. If you need something crafting, let me know. I will. It was a pleasure to meet you. <laughs> so fucking helicopters and planes always fly over my house. Always so loud. 
Look at that. My mic is spiking because of it. Um, I don't use tiny blocks, so we're good. Yeah, so I had to do that to unlock that. Got it. Let's see what we can make. I'm assuming I'm not going to be able to make anything yet. Oh, you know what? It's because we're here and not in the other land. So we need this if we wanted to make anything, which clearly we already have all this shit. Or it's weaker. Okay. So this was... I didn't really have to do that at all, I guess. Just for a little bit more lore. <clears throat> background on them. With some other people that they all wear on their clothes. Oh, sorry. I was leagues away. How can I help you? If you're after something from the storehouse, it's actually my wife you'll want to talk to. She will have to charge you for the goods, though. Yeah, Not yeah. Not fleece you or anything. It's just, you know, needs must. I understand. Seeing that, she might not be able to get anything down for you for a bit. Ah, oh, right. She's got a hands full with the inventory, you see. It should have been my daughter's job, really, but the willful little rills decided to make herself scarce. <coughs> oh, the heavens only know where that girl's got to. If you'd like me to keep an eye out for her. Oh, no. I couldn't ask that of an outsider. Could I? You wouldn't mind. Let's find her. Of course not. She won't have gone far, will she? I hope not. But I've scoured the entire village for her and come up empty-handed. <laughs> Can't help thinking she might have gone on another one of her little adventures. Ah, a free spirit is she? Aye, that she is. Can't get her to sit still, especially once you heard you lot were on your way. Outsiders. You should have said a little lies light up. Oh, if she wanted to watch you arrive. Should have made for the low gate where you first came in. The guard there might have spotted her. Maybe you could ask him. Uh, Ruka, her name is. All right. I'll let you know if I find her. <coughs> Not to worry. He's like, I'm worrying him. Just runs off. So we're unlock the basically item shop. We need to do this quest. Do, 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 do. Excuse me. You haven't seen the storekeeper's daughter, have you? Little Ruka. I have, as it happens. She went out through the gate not long ago. Out of the village? Alone? Aye. She does it all the time. There's a path off to the left which leads down to the river. Nice little spot, that. Safe as you like. The beast of the mountain don't dare come so close to They you. say that, but I'm sure there's some down That's there. That's where she'll be. Go and have a look if you don't believe me. I will. I actually might have to do some of these quests if the enemies here are 50. This must be the path. I might struggle a little bit with the, um, the bosses. The one thing I expect from this DLC is an icon fight with Leviathan, and I'm probably gonna be epic as shit. It's like all the other icon fights. I, I, maybe there's no enemy here. I'm sure something's gonna pop up though. Boo. It's you. I've been looking everywhere It's me. For you. you know my name. Oops, I didn't mean to skip that. Can you lot read minds? Yes. We're special. Your father asked me to keep an eye out for you. You left without telling him where you were going. He was worried. But I went to look for you. Well, now you found me. What do you say we head back to the village and let your father know you're safe? All right. And on the way home, you can tell me all about the world beyond the wall. I want to know everything. <laughs> everything might be a stretch.
Thank you for bringing her home. And I'm sorry for the trouble. Oh, no. It was a pleasure. It's very weird bad. Did you know that our village is ten times as big as Haven in the outside world? Ten times! Cities, they call them. And in these cities, they have great big walls and towers and castles. Oh, <laughs> to think I was worried. You can tell me all about the outside world later, sweet pea. Now go and help your mum with the stores. All right. <laughs> Thanks for putting up with her questions. She uh, has a lot of them. One of the big ones being, what are the people beyond the wall like? Reckon you've made a good first impression. Are we the only ones she's ever met? That you are. The rest of the world can't know we're here. So we'll have to be very careful who we're letting in and out. A few of us might make the occasional trip to shore for supplies, but for the most Yeah, part, that's what I was thinking. If they, they probably had to go there. But I'm assuming they kind of cover up, so... Yes. You know, on top of the old ruins, didn't you? people are like, wait a minute, you look like well, water folk. Fine foundations. Their masons clearly knew what they were doing. That's one thing we don't have to worry about. <laughs> oh, it's everything else that's the problem. Medicines, metals for tool making, anything like that. We have to dress up as traveling merchants and make a trip to the outside and pray to every cloud in the heavens that nobody sees through us. Yes, they, they do dress up there. Which explains why you need Gil. Aye. And now Rook is back, my wife should be free to assist you with any potential purchases. So please, do make good use of our stores, because we fully intend to make good use of your coin. <laughs> I'll be sure to keep my purse strings loose. Quest complete. Alright, let's see what they have. I'm sure it's just the same basic stuff. Materials and potions. Thanks for bringing me daughter back. You're welcome. I don't grudge her looking for adventure, but she's got to pull away it like the rest of us. Anyway, now we've got the in Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's just go. This is all we have. Oh, she does have better gear. You know what? Let's buy it. May it serve you well. And equip it. Well, uh, if you're sure you need it, here you are. We're falling this stuff. Wait, what's this? Oh, for 36 seconds? It's not bad. I mean, I don't it's really need it because I'm not going to equip well. it, but okay. What do you think the tributary sees in those outside? All right. Um, that's that. Let's go. So you guys might hear my dogs. They're still they're playing outside my room. <coughs> Put out the door open so they can eat. All right, let's make for the surge. Can R two that door? I forgot she was with us. Are we not still leagues from the shore? Oh, there's a river. Wait. Is there? Oh, she's talking about the birds. Like, well, maybe? Maybe there's chug boys here? I don't know. Oh, she's talking about these are like beached up here. She could be talking about that. Probably fight the enemies that come across. Quick 
this route to the surge is due east, past the second galley. Judah, how did these ships come to be here? Should I check these other ways? We're probably gonna go those ways, so. What do you imagine happens when an icon of water gets angry? Really, brother? Did oh, you have to ask? Starts throwing shit like crazy. Oh, I fucking spiders! I hate spiders. Oh, I missed the other guy. Damn it! I was missing in this game too, which was kind of sad. Was tom berries and cactars. Um, here's our tom berries. I wonder if we're gonna run into cactars too. I was like, how can you have a Final Fantasy game and not put any? You know, the enemies that are always there. But here they are, and they're they're kind of big, and they're creepy as fuck. Tomberry creeper is indeed the right name. They're actually very tall. They die pretty quick though. They fall down to you. So I doubt they're gonna be like the Tom Bears we know with like Chef's knife and automatically kill us. They're not even like a challenge. They're very creepy looking though, I like them. I wonder if they do hit you, like their attacks do like really hurt though. They do stumble across really fast like they, they do when they want to attack you. I'm glad they made an appearance, even if they are pretty easy to take out. Um, shit, which way do I want to go? I'm gonna go this way. The materials we are picking up seem to be nothing like unique, so. the sea it's not far now that is quite the sight though the closer we get the more beautiful it looks we'll follow the coastline north there's a bridge that will take us across to the cape Sure, a lot of these like antelope things around. Might I inquire about the ray of light? It's what prevents the surge from being reclaimed by the sea. And Walius by his people. Yeah, I figured. This might take a while. The other reason to fight everything is if they are going to make us um, do like fetch quests, if there's already more quests. Um, it's a good thing to fight the enemies so we get the materials. I think they drop stuff, don't they? I could be wrong. Ooh. This is definitely enemies. Isn't it Adamantois? It is. We fought these in the, the original. Or I use the main game. It's 
get that stagger going. Oh, I fucked that up. Let it go too early. Can die. There he's blocked. <clears throat> We're auto running. You said before that the child is bound within the surge, but you've yet to tell us how we're meant to reach him. I trust we won't have to hold our breath. No. The surge wraps around the cave without engulfing it. If we continue to its tip, yeah, there is to a the path tip. down to the seabed. Just the tip. And the wave's origin. All right. It won't be the first dominant we've met at the bottom of the ocean. I wonder if we're going to get to, like the dominant powers now. And then we're gonna fight our way like up to like the array to actually free the baby. It could be because now it looks like we're entering a dungeon. Oh shit! Okay. Well, into the surge we go.